actually approved. Cool story you're, you're watching there, girl. Yeah, but this is standard yeah. practice. Yeah, Don't you find it interesting? Yeah, that humans are drinking the breast milk of a cow. When I do actually, I, I just see they eat grass, they shit, they eat grass, they shit, they eat, and that's that's their life. But then why why do we need to come in and kill them? It's Hitler did guns. this in the Second World War. You know what Hitler did to um, people. You know yes. how he put them in gas chambers. Yes. Are you against that or for that? We'll have a nice conversation. Yeah? It's not shy but I'm interested. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much for sitting down. Um, what was your name? John. John. Nice to meet you. I'm Melissa Hello. and uh, my husband Steve. Hello, Steve. And so the banner says the dairy industry kills babies. Interesting. Changed my mind. Yeah, interesting. So, um, don't babies need to be breastfed then slowly weaned onto milk? Okay, so they're interesting. You're talking about human babies. Oh, right. Yeah. I'm talking about um, calves, like ba babies. Baby calves. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right, um, so, and you're right, but a baby needs to drink the breast milk of their mum, right? Yes. Yeah? yeah? Uh, sorry, a puppy would drink the breast milk of the dog. Yeah. So, do you find okay. it interesting, yeah, that humans are drinking the breast milk of a cow? When I do actually, and um, I don't really give it much thought, but yeah. I guess it's, it's broadening my horizons on it that okay these calves need to be fed that way yeah because yeah. otherwise they lose the in do they lose that genetic line because what their mum passes them through the milk is a genetic it's what they need right yeah. genetically made for them exactly yeah and we shouldn't be, be denying that calf of that Exactly, a yeah. Of pints it needs a day. So this yeah. is exactly what I mean by the dairy industry kills babies. Um, mm. I'll show you what I mean as well, because sometimes it's um, easier to see. So in the dairy industry, it all starts with forcibly impregnation a cow. Okay, so the this is inf insemination. Yeah, forceful ins impregnation. I don't have to watch this, but surely I don't want to see his hand up. But oh my! But, but so this I know is what. Happens, yeah. yeah. So after this happens. Um, she carries her baby for nine months, just mm. like a human would, mm. um, which I, I didn't know. Um, and then when she gives birth to her baby, if the baby is a boy, um, he doesn't produce milk. So he's classed as a waste product. Mm. What do you think they do with the boy? Interesting you say from this, because we have to look at it from a human calf experience. Now, a lot of problems with the human experience over the years is that a lot of girls were killed at birth because they were no use to a village. Oh, and really? having many girls bred in a village, yet yeah, was never gonna, that village was never gonna thrive unless they were boy babies, where they would then build. And I know this has been a point- Just using them. Yeah, point of, um, they've been killing human babies, especially girls, for the last, as long as we've been on this planet. Wow. And it's, kind of brought that message home because you know we've actually stepped in and placed replaced that cycle and we shouldn't have we shouldn't have we shouldn't have been we shouldn't have got involved in that and that's what's scary is that you know this should be left as natural as possible yeah because they're like they, this is what they're doing here they're killing the boys yes, because their class is a waste product yeah. yeah so they're just feeding you're watching there, girl. Yeah, but this is standard you know, practice. Yeah, I used exactly, to pay for yes, this. Because exactly, yeah. the only reason they're doing this is because mm. people want cow's milk. And I used to be one of those people. It's, so I wish someone showed me a long time ago. I, what is it? A cow would produce about 40 pints a day. And that should be no building heart. the baby up. And a baby at 40 pints a day suckling on its mother would actually grow it quicker and what's happening is is where we're intervening here and stopping this cycle we're causing ourselves problems later in life yeah yeah because and all the boys are killed because if we're drinking the breast milk intended for him mm, he can't drink point. it and no. the, these are the females because they get taken away too mm. because obviously they want They're the profit bread. from yes, yes. they then get put into these isolation booths away from the females i think what shouldn't be 
missed here is that this is happening to all species yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Pigs, yep. horses even, yep. it's You're cows, right. you know, and where do we stop it? It's too profitable. So, that exactly, because mm. the, the consumer pays for this to happen. Mm. If people didn't pay for things like meat, eggs, dairy, fish, then they wouldn't need to do they wouldn't do this to animals because it's all for money like the dairy industry is very fragile at the moment because people good people are realizing what they're paying for and switching to oat milk well i can't see where you're going with this so is... this is the part that turned me vegan right yes. so I, I wasn't always vegan mm. um but when i saw this it opened my eyes and i realized like this all this killing for a piece of cheese the reason they're killing this mother cow who had gone through, through baby after baby, being taken from her. She weeps for weeks after her baby. It's all for a bit of cheese. But she's, but the thing is, you can't deny that she's bred for this reason. But if I bred human women for this so, reason, okay, then we are in a different situation. Well, it's if you're using your bread into existence for this reason. When I put that into human context, mm. then pe um, people think, no, th that's crazy. I think we cannot get lost in the difference between human existence and cow's existence. They are put here by God for us to take advantage of. Do you believe in God? I do. You do. Sure. So the Garden of Eden is actually vegan. His perfect creation was vegan. Maybe. Would are, we, are we wrong in sustaining that market? Do you think as a vegan person yourself, are we wrong to sustain this market? To sustain this as this. keep this going yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I'm against this okay. um, but I didn't know because I used to pay for this but I didn't know you used tax for my years yeah and I was I brought in, I was brought into this world where people told me we love dogs we love cats but we eat chickens cows pigs but they don't show you the truth okay. right so this was hidden the moment I saw the truth I stopped I went I can never put a penny into this industry and I went vegan and then I spoke up for the animals who can't speak up for themselves. Okay, you are in leadership of this speaking up for them. But veganism is a moral philosophy. Okay. You're against animal exploitation yes. and the use. So when you look at this, if you can be healthy and get all your nutrients from a plant-based diet, why wouldn't you? Why would okay. you choose I, that? I, I agree with that, but why are we changing something that's worked? We have a choice whether to pay for this suffering, which I can see you're against, I know you don't like this suffering, or we are only pay for uh, vegan things which don't have animal abuse in, right? So we, all it is for us is moving our hand from here to here. Okay, I see. Uh, can you see the sustainment of the humans humans on this planet by denying them access to meat. Yeah, so um, again, this is, a, this is a hell problem, um, but actually animal agriculture is the leading cause for climate change, uh, deforestation, ocean methane, dead zones. Yeah, gases, so it's literally yes. killing our planet, mm, which therefore kills everybody. Um, we would actually free up 75% of the world's farmland um, if we didn't have animal agriculture, because we currently breed 80 billion animals into existence every single year purely to kill them and eat them. There's only 8 billion people on the whole planet, so how are we currently feeding 80 billion animals and not humans? Again, yeah. it's, it's something that we could discuss all day. Yeah. We could talk for hours and hours on I this I think if we, if we simplify it, mm. what you've seen in this footage, right? Mm. It's You're disgusting. against. Yeah. yeah. I don't like the looks of it myself. Yeah. But. So but if it's we not going to stop me eating a burger. But you know, right, every time you pay for it, like a cow burger, you're paying for an animal to be tortured, okay, enslaved okay, and killed, okay, right? Okay. But you're against it. So would you agree that at the moment you're being hypocritical exactly. with your own Thank morals? You. Yeah, I am, I am. I think society has become hypocritical because of that reason, because think... we don't know what the truth is anymore. How uh, exactly. Do we, how do we find the truth out. People aren't telling us the truth. Exactly, and that's why I'm here today, okay. raising awareness for the babies putting this in. It still seems a very strong, strong advertisement, because I thought you were talking about human babies, and it's only recent talking to you now that I realise that I, 
I was misinterpreted by that. But even if it was human babies, like it doesn't matter. They're still babies. They're oh. individuals. They feel pain. They suffer. Could you imagine if something this is what came, they do to pig babies? If aliens came down on this planet now and started feeding on us, yeah, exactly. Would we be agreeable to that? Like we're doing to the cows. They don't Absolutely. have no right. Yeah, they, you yeah. Know? Exactly, and that's, that's the way you've got, to, you've got to have empathy, you've got to look at these animals and go... Empathy is a strong word. Yeah, if, if you wouldn't want this to happen to you, why are we do, paying people to do it just for a burger? But hunger is something where empathy doesn't come in contact with, because, trust me girl, if you was in another country with me now and we were walking through the desert and we were hungry, trust me, you would eat. Yeah, and I might kill someone else to eat, like a person, but I'm not there, I'm here in Worthing, where we've got, like, you've got Costa, you've got vegan street food down there, you've got all these different places, even Nando's do vegan options, yeah. where you, you have the option where you pay for animals to be enslaved, tortured and murdered, or you pay for kindness, no, no. kindness or cruelty. Oh, how, how can we better this then? How do we better this? To stop paying for it, first of all, and yeah. then educate others. Interesting. I like the education point of it yeah. because I think we are very ignorant yeah. today yeah. in education. And this is hidden. This is they don't want people to see this because most people are kind and compassionate. And this is painful to watch. This is pigs in a gas chamber, six months old, just babies, gassed, and then they'll have their throat just, cut, put the into boiling is, water for I'm a sandwich. I'm not seeing the the pig as an entity like I'd see you as an, a person as an entity. Yeah, so the thing That's is... That's quite a dangerous mindset to have though, right? Mm. Because, and I'm not saying that you're anything like Hitler, but he mm. saw he Jews, did, he, did that. he didn't see them as, as worth, as, as worth, worth yeah. yeah. Okay. Just like you're viewing the pigs. I understand about the Hitler yeah. principle and the way he tattooed them. And the tattoo is, was to mark them less than human. And that's what he was doing. Purely was because of their religion or the way yes, they look. Okay. And that's exactly the same as what people are doing to animals, right? Okay, but... They don't, they don't need to be the exact, the, exactly like us, but when you look at what we have in common, they feel pain, they suffer, they do feel joy. So? Absolutely. All right, then... What, what do you mean, which one do you say, do you think they suffer? Uh, they do suffer. But yeah. I can imagine that. Yeah. Yes. Feel and pain. They feel pain. Of that feel joy. That is feeling pain. Exactly. And yeah. that's because somebody has paid an industry for a bacon sandwich and they're having to replace that bacon sandwich with another pig. I see. Yeah. Um, then I'm not looking for more and more questions. I want solutions. Okay, so the solution, right? Mm. Go vegan, stop paying into these industries. And it's not just your diet, it's a moral like philosophy. So it's, mm. um, it's uh, any animal product, any uh, testing on animals, so my makeup's all vegan friendly as well. I don't use anything tested on animals, the products I um, but your clean makeup with. Is very good actually. Yeah, I know, it's rubbish. <laughs> it's because I'm still working it out. Um, honesty, I like honesty. But yeah, it's, it's not just a diet. And then once, once you go vegan, then you can speak up for the animals, and that's the way you stop it. Because I was paying for this once, and if I walked across here and saw the dairy industry kills babies, I would have stopped and been like, what? Because I'm the biggest animal lover out, out there. And I, it broke my heart to know I was paying for their suffering. I just feel you're just, you're, you will not make an impact on it. I wish you could, and I wish you would. When you, when you look around though, right? At one stage, there was no vegan options. The mm. only reason there's vegan options now is because of supply and demand. Mm. They only go where the money's going. Mm. So when people boycott these industries, they will stop paying, they will stop killing animals and forcibly bring them into existence and then go for plant-based. Because everyone is against animal abuse, everyone is naturally kind and compassionate, they just don't see this. So when people see it, they stop and then they make change. And that's why vegan products are now coming in everywhere because people don't want to pay a penny into this, just like me. I, I boycott this, I'm so against this, so I will never pay for it. And um, that's what everyone else can do and that will, that will stop. It really feels as though it's too little, too late. I think it, we're in like, we're that in a very, changed. yeah, it's, it's massively changing. I've been vegan two and a half years and from seeing no one on the street vegan, I, we now already had like a few people come over saying, well done, like I'm vegan, I just didn't know. And so that's why I'm here showing people who are good people who just don't know. But still sat here with you, it's still not changed my view on 
that an animal is produced to be eaten. But what if you were produced to be eaten? Maybe we are. But what if you were? Then I'd accept it. I guess I'd have to. You wouldn't accept. You wouldn't accept someone coming over to you and putting you in a gas chamber. Well, you wouldn't accept that excuse. Okay, okay, okay. I see that we'd we'd have much to say about that, but it's still. It's having empathy. If you can't empathise with them because they look different like that. You really feel as though these these have a conscious like we Absolutely. have a conscious. I've got chickens at home. I rescued ten, um, twelve chickens. We lost one a couple of days ago. She was. Did you? Oh, right, she meant everything to us. She used to jump on our lap, sit on our, my shoulder. If I had the phone, she'd be there going boop, boop, boop. She's a somebody, no different to you Interest, and me. Interesting, interesting empathy point of view is, I think that... And they're all different, they're all individuals. To empathise is the wrong way, word to use with it. I think it's, I think it's uh, be learning to accept that the profitable, profitability of these industries are running the economy running the economy the price of pigs on the market today would probably lead the taxation for the next two years even and you can actually see animal agriculture is only held up because of tax subsidies yes exactly that's what i'm so we the want them of. gone because we want we want to put tax into like other things that will do good not paying for animals to be murdered for a sandwich see this this has turned into you doing the actual interview here to yourself and is, are your views this? Well, I think relevant? it's I think it's crazy that um, you're against it, but you're like it doesn't affect me, but you're against it. So why would you be against animal abuse? It's not that I'm against it. It's so you're just not against I, animal abuse. I don't agree with the way that this that's happening there. But why? What is it about the individual? The cow. Um, is it because they feel pain? No, because I don't see how they have a. A moral code of conduct like we have. I don't see they eat grass, they shit, they eat grass, they shit, they eat, and that's that's their life. But then why why do we need to come in and kill them? Because they have babies, they feel pain. Look look at the suffering. Look that this one's head cut off. Can you imagine if there was yeah. humans in there or dogs in there? This is after she's been Hitler did this in the Second World War. You know what Hitler did to um, people. You know, yes. you put them in gas chambers. Yes. Are you against that or for that? I'm again, definitely. Okay, against. so how come you're against that, but it's okay to do it to pigs? I know there's a. It's it's all there's unnecessary. A hypocriti 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 I can't even say the word, but there is, and I can't deny that. But that's just the way. Is it because it's easier for you because you want to continue eating the flesh of animals? It's easier to go. Oh yeah, I'm a hypocrite, but I'll carry on because it's what you Maybe. want to do. That's, that, yeah. that says a lot about people today, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for sitting down. I'm going to leave you with one of these cards. Um, there's a QR code and you can check Hopefully out... you can use it. Hopefully. From him. Yeah, yeah, thank you for sitting down. I appreciate your time. Have a good day. I found that really exhausting. So I was like, look, just simplify it down. You either pay for cruelty or you don't. I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it.